Guys, this is Chris, Tabletop Sports Delaware, and we are bringing you the final um, official video in this playlist for Play.com's Hockey Blast tutorial. This is going to be demonstration uh, gameplay. We'll play a period or so just to show you how the game plays through. Uh, let's hear it for uh, Mr. Marvin down here. So he is on the side. He's got the Zamboni on the side. We have no idea yet how that occurred. Um, there is so much weight. There are no angles on the hockey rink. Um, we're figuring he uh, slipped in the crease. And uh, somehow he stuck it where Mama hides the cookies. I don't know. It had to have something to do with uh, a Gordy Howe hat trick. I mean, that's the only explanation I can come up with. Anyway, uh, just to uh, give you a setup, we're going to have the game board here. Um, and I've got it set up so we can go from one team to the other. I have no way to do both teams at the same time, but at least we can move back and forth and show you what we're doing. Um, then, of course, right here, we're going to have uh, the die roll right here. I'm not going to be able to show you the game action book, so you're just going to have to read along. But that's okay. I'm going to presume you know how to read. Most of us do. Or at least one would think. Alrighty, so um, as you can see, uh, we have, and it's on the big game board, and I like using this one. Uh, but it's going to have one, two, three, four, and five. And so I can cover them up. I wrote it along the top of my board. I write all my stuff. I don't care. It, I'm not collecting it. I'm making it usable. So you've got your number one player, which is a winger. Number two is a winger. Three is a center. Four is your offensive defenseman. Five is your least offensive defenseman. Goalie goes over here. Same on the other side. Got it. Oh, I just remembered I got to do one thing. But same on the other side. Uh, the centermost with Marlowe on the top of the column, that is your number one, which is your winger. Uh, then you've got number two next to that, right here. Uh, number three is your center. Uh, number four, your most offensive involved defenseman. Number five, all the way on the left, is your more defensive defensemen, and then of course your goalie on the far left for the visitor team. Um, the visitor team is going to be the San Jose Sharks. Uh, your home team, which is over there on the right hand side that we looked at just a minute ago, that's Pittsburgh Penguins. 15-16 set came with the game. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to explain everything we're doing as we go. So we'll go to center ice here. Um, you start with a face-off. So you're going to have your normal minutes page open, pages 2 and 3 in your game book. And we're going to roll two dice. Add them together. And that is a 2. Ah, we'll get Marvin out of there. That way you can see it better. Alright. So that would be a 2. Um, so you're going to look at your Facebook, and it says, High FO player wins the face-off. Now, I've marked the lines that are on the ice for right now. So you're going to look at their FO ratings, and for Pittsburgh, it's Crosby with a 52. And for San Jose, um, it is Pavelski with a 55. So San Jose is going to win the face-off. And I just move it over there, so that way I know... Who has the puck? Now that we've done the face-off, Avon calling, we are going to roll for the normal minutes on page two and see what comes up. That is a four, so we have odd man rush. So we've got an extra man in the attack zone. Uh, let's roll an extra die, and I have different die that I use. And we'll find out which player we're checking for the triangles, which is scoring chances, or the squares, which is defensive prowess. Uh, we rolled a 5. So that is going to be D5. And Pittsburgh is on the defense, as you can see. So we're going to be looking at Lovejoy, and Lovejoy has a square. So on this play... 
Pittsburgh makes a turnover, takes possession of the puck. Um, de dum de dum, and uh, let's see. Yep, and change of possession, change lines, and advance time. I'll go over scoring in another video, so that way you can see how that is done. Um, I'm doing it off camera because, quite honestly, I don't have the space for it. Not with the, can the gear I have. But that's all right. So, boom. We have that. Uh, next, um, since Pittsburgh has possession of the puck, we simply roll on the normal minutes to see what the next action might be. And that's going to be a six. Six is zoom. So, now we are going to take these. And the black will represent the home team. The white will represent the visiting team. So black home five, which is DeMullen right there. And white one, visitor one, which is Couture. They are going to, according to this die, <coughs> we're going to compare the speed quality on their cards. DeMullen has speed. Couture has speed. There's no momentum yet, so the home team wins the tie. Remember, if there's a tie, you go to the team with momentum. If no one has momentum, the home team wins it. Since the home team has the puck, they are going to be able to have a chance to roll on a play chart right now. Had San Jose won, it would have been a turnover. Change possession, change lines, advanced clock. But now Pittsburgh is going to roll on the play chart on page three in the upper right corner. They roll a six. You add them together. And you will see that that is assist by 03, which is Malkin, Vengi Malkin, assist by 02, which is Bo Bennett. And the shot is being taken by Patrick Nordquist. Nordquist. So. We have determined the play. Now we roll again for the shot. And that is a four. Now Malkin has two stars for assist. Bennett, none. Norquist has a, sh a star for a shot, so that is three. So this is three or less. That is within their shot strength range. You go down here to Martin Jones. The goalie for the Sharks, he has three stars. So it has to be above those three stars. The three, of course, is not. So it is no shot. The shot is missed. So we're going to look at the goalie save chart and use this. Do not re-roll. Ping, it goes off the post. Scramble in front. If there is a square on the defensive team, meaning if a defensive player has a square on their card, then the defense controls the puck. And we're going to see both Paul Martin and Justin Braun have squares. So the defense is going to control the puck. So we are going to change possession, change lines, and advance time. And each of these takes up one minute out of 20 one-minute segments in each period. Okay. So next we are going to, San Jose has the puck, roll for normal minutes. And we roll a nine. Momentum. Whichever team has momentum gains, re gains or retains possession of the puck. No line change, no time advance. If no team has momentum, check the hit quality for the entire team to establish new momentum. If they are tied, momentum goes to the home team. So let's look at both teams. We have Wingles with a hit, and Dylan has the hit quality. For Pittsburgh, Scott Wilson has hit, and Ian Cole has hit. They're tied. It goes to the home team. And yeah, place it over there. There's a little circle next to the goalie. So that way you know which team has momentum. Time doesn't change. This simply establishes momentum. Um, you roll again on the normal minutes to see what happens. So we roll again. That is a three. Play. Team with the most triangles generates an offensive scoring chance immediately, regardless of whether they had the puck or not. Thomas Hurdle has a triangle, so that is one scoring chance for San Jose. 
and none for the penguins as you can see none of them have any symbols uh, down the middle of their cards between the qualities so that means San Jose gets a scoring opportunity so now we're going to roll on the play chart, upper right corner, page three. That would be an eight. A six and a two is an eight. So that's going to be an assist by O2, which is Wengles, an assist by O1, which is Matthew Nieto, and a shot by Thomas Hurdle. Now assist by Wengles, he has no stars. Nieto has scissors, so we're going to be cutting this in half. Shot by Hurdle, he has one. So when you cut that in half, it's down to one half, round it down to the next hole number, which is zero. So there is zero shot power here at all, so they are not going to make the shot. Still roll for the shot, no matter what. It's a shot, it just, there's, it's a sloppy shot, there's no way it's going in. And we roll a five. So since it is a missed shot, we go to the goalie save chart. And we're going to read, goalie stacks the pads, puck deflected out to the circle, 0-2, gets rebound, and he shoots. So that is Wingles. Now, for rebounds, if I recall correctly, and I better make sure, no, no momentum, but he does get an automatic star. So for rebounds, since this is his first attempt, a shooter on, a skater on San Jose, a first rebound attempt, he gets one star. So he's going to have one star against Flory's only two stars on a shot save. You use shot save, not play save. So let us see. Have everybody in here if we can. Not going to be able to, so whatever. Uh, Nieto is going to take a shot. So he has to have a one or less. Flory has two, so it's got to be three or more on the white die. So one on the black die, it is not. So that is a missed shot. We use that six on the goalie save chart. Goalie kicks it wide. Puck is loose. O one one gets the rebound. He shoots. Ah, oh, it was Wingles had the shot. Missed it. Now Nieto does. Now this is the second rebound on the same play. So now the shooter gets two stars. Nieto doesn't have any, but now he has two stars going against Fleury's shot save of two. So the black die has to be two or less. This has to be three or more. It is still not. So it is another missed shot. Seven, we go to the goalie save chart, which reads, smothered it, goalie freezes the puck. Change lines, or change lines, um, advance time, but now there's a face off. So now we are going to roll another face-off here. And so far only three minutes have passed out of 20 in the first period. Uh, so let us see what we've got. We have a face-off. Let's go ahead and roll that. First lines are back on the ice. And that is going to be 10. You're going to look at the face-off chart on, in the upper left on page 3 for normal minutes. 10 high face-off player wins the face-off. And we know from experience that's Pavelski with a 55. So San Jose has the puck. They're going to roll on the normal minutes on page 2. And that is a 7. So 7 is going to be a lull. So you are going to mark off 3 lull minutes. Minute 4, minute 5. Minute six, nothing spectacular happens that impacts the game. So that would have been minute four, minute five, minute six. Minute seven is now up, and it's a new face-off. It basically acts like all three lines, they went through all three lines, they're back to the same lines, and they're doing another face-off. So let us see what we get. And that is nine, momentum. So we're looking for, again, the hit quality to see if momentum changes or if Pittsburgh keeps it. So for San, Diego, San Jose, I keep wanting to say San Diego, we have hit for Pavelski, and that's it. San Jose only has one with the hit quality. With Pittsburgh, we have Kunitz, Lee Tang, and Lovejoy is three. 
So Pittsburgh is going to keep momentum. Um, who got? Oh yeah, San Jose had it. I'm sorry, we didn't roll the face off. That was supposed to be a face off roll. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not momentum. So that was a face off roll. Okay, so nine, nine on the face off chart. Home wins the face off immediate play. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, so here we go. Immediate play. We do not have to roll in the normal minutes on page two. We go to the play chart in the upper right on page three when it says immediate play. So Pittsburgh with a shot to make something happen. They roll a six, so their play is going to be uh, three, two, one assist by Crosby and Kunitz, and Kessel gets the shot. Now they have momentum, so any stars that are white that aren't filled in black are going to count since they have momentum. So Crosby has two stars for assist. Kunitz has a white star for assist with momentum that counts, so that's three. Kessel has two for his shot, so that's a total of five. So Pittsburgh needs to roll five or less on the black die. And San Jose, Mark Jones has three stars on his play save, so it's got to be four or more. Five or less, four or more. That's five or less, but it is not four or more on the white die. Martin Jones makes a save. We go to the goalie save chart. Smothered it. Goalie freezes the puck. Change lines. Advance time. Face off. So we do that. Face off for minute eight. Second lines are on the ice. Let's go ahead and roll for that face off. That is going to be an 11. And 11 is waved off, new face off with new players. Bring another line on. Uh, so that is 10. High FO player wins. High face off player wins the face off. And I know from experience that's going to be Tom uh, Tomas Hurdle with uh, 56. Third line center for the Sharks. So San Jose, they have the puck going to roll on normal minutes for the Sharks on page two. That's going to be an eight. That is Ice Blast. This is just like Zoom, only now we're going to compare a quality for both teams for their lines that are on the ice and see who has the greater total. So we roll another die, and it's going to be a four, which is the hit quality. This can swing momentum. Any team that wins a hit check or a hit challenge for Zoom or Ice Blast, they get momentum or keep it. San Jose has Dillon and Wingles with the hit quality. Pittsburgh has Wilson and Cole with the hit quality. Boom and boom. Two to two, the team with momentum wins the tie. That just, now that was the ice blast. Um, since the defensive team, the team that did not have the puck won it, um, you do, da -de da -de da let me find it, so I can read it exactly as it says, if the defender wins, there's no shot, defense takes over with a new possession, change lines, and advance the clock. So no shot on that play. So we go to minute nine and Pittsburgh has the puck. Let's roll on the normal minutes on page two. And that's a two. We've got a fight. We have a fight. Now you see if there is a player on both teams that has a fight rating. Um, Kunitz has a fight rating of, it's all the way across the table, of two. And does anyone on San Jose have one? Um, a four for Vlasic. So let's roll. Vlasic will need a four or less on the white die. And Kunitz will need a two or less on the black die. Kunitz is not fighting. So we have a face-off with new lines. So we're going to read the face-off chart. 
the top of page three. Let's go ahead and roll those dice. Ten. High face-off player wins the face-off. And that is going to be not Pittsburgh because Avengi Malkin only has 42. Uh, Joe Thornton, center for the Sharks, has 53. So San Jose. San Jose wins a lot of face-offs against Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh is really good at keeping momentum. They're, they're a well-matched pair of teams. They really are, I've found, because I've played a few games with them. So San Jose is the puck. We're going to roll on page two on normal minutes to see what happens. And we roll a six. Six is zoom. So it's going to be visitor team San Jose, player number five, which is Paul Martin, right here. And Pittsburgh, um, player number one, which is Patrick Hornquist. And we are going to be looking for, one, the speed quality. Hornquist has speed. Martin does not have speed. So that means since the defensive team won, they simply take possession, change lines, advance time. No shot. Now we have gone 10 minutes of the 20 so far in this game. Uh, let's roll the dice. Pittsburgh's third line is on the ice, and they have the puck. Rolling normal minutes on page two. That is nine, momentum. Well, we know that both teams have two on the third line, so Pittsburgh is going to keep momentum because they're the team with momentum. They win the tie. Even if they didn't have momentum, they're the home team. They would have won it. Let's roll again. And this time we have two, we have a fight. Uh, Fair uh, and, yeah, Fair and Benino. Scott Wilson has a fight rating of five. Tommy Wangles has a fight rating of five. Uh, da, 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 da. Roll within the fight range and a fight breaks out. And we roll five and less on both dice. We have a fight. So we are going to go all the way back to page 11. This is Wingles and Wilson. So these two are fighting. All right, we're going to roll on the fight chart in the lower right corner of page 11. Five, home player lands a punch. Wilson socks it to Wingles. Let's roll again. Two, visitor is injured. Wingles is injured, so he is hurt. Fight is over. Um, both players are going to be penalized. Five minutes, major penalty for fighting. Uh, Wingles. And Wilson. Now, Wingles is injured. His injury rating is C. We are going to go to page 12. The very next page, past fights and penalties for player injuries. We're going to roll both dice. And instead of adding them together, we're going to combine them. Black, we'll read the black die first. So we're going to be looking for 61. Uh, home player one checked into the boards. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. He is injured, so we don't have to roll. If it was an injury, we would roll to determine who was injured and what kind of it was. However, <coughs> we already have the player that is injured. It is Tommy Wingle, so we're going to look at his injury rating and find out how long he is injured for. See, he is injured for the rest of the game, plus six more games. So Wingles is out of this one. Arr. So now let's get a fit replacement for him. Uh, let's go with who is a winger. How about everybody has scissors for everything. Well, let's try Goodrow. We'll put Goodrow in there. Good old Goodrow. Goodrow, buddy, buddy Row. 
Alrighty, so we have a face-off coming up between the number one lines. Uh, it's going to be four on four, so we're going to be playing normal minutes. There's no man advantage. However, both teams still have to sit out of position. So Pittsburgh is going to sit out Kunitz, and we're going to sit out Ward for San Jose. Now we do a face-off to see... Who gets the puck? Here again, four on four. There's no man advantage, so we are playing normal minutes. That is going to be a nine for the faceoff. Uh, home wins the faceoff, and they get an immediate play. So the Penguins get an immediate play. We're going to go to the pet play chart on page three, upper right corner, and we roll a three. So we know the play is going to be four, three, and two. Lee Tang, Crosby. Kunitz is not on the ice. His position is vacant. So it's going to be Lee Tang with an assist and Crosby with the shot. You do not count 0-2, which is Kunitz, since that position is not on the ice. So it's going to be Lee Tang, Crosby. Uh, Lee Tang has two assist stars. Crosby has three shot stars. That's going to be a shot strength of five. Martin Jones has a play save of three. So it's got to be five or less on the black die and four or more on the white die. Five or less, yes. Four or more, no. So that is a missed shot by Sidney Crosby. Go to the goalie save chart. Stick save made. Uh, looks like Jones is going to drop the puck behind the net for a new line. And that little cross thing is there saying goalie controls the puck. Change lines. Advanced time. Uh, yeah, change lines, advanced clock. Goalie's team begins a new possession. So that is... Da -de -da -de -da. Missed shot on minute 12. So we're going to have Don Skoy sit out, and we're going to have Bennett sit out for this line. All right, here we go. The second of five penalty minutes. Uh, that's going to be a six. So we're looking at Zoom. Home player four, visitor player two. So it's going to be Trevor Daly. Um, player two is not in there, so I generally pick one to either side. We're going to go with Couture. There's nothing in the rules for that. If a player is out and you are rolling for Zoom, so we're just going to do Couture. I'll pick one to either side. So it's going to be daily against Couture. We need to figure out what quality we're looking for. Three, we're looking for power. Daily has power. Couture has power. Pittsburgh is the team with momentum. Pittsburgh wins the tie, and since they are the defensive team, they take possession of the puck. Uh, change lines, advanced clock, no shot. We are on minute 14, the third penalty minute out of five. So let us go ahead and roll on the normal minutes on page two. That is a six. We're doing zoom again. This time it is center against center. I forgot to move these down. I usually leave uh, Bonino out and uh, Nieto. Okay, so it is center against center. That is going to be Scott Wilson and uh, Tomas Hurdle. So let us find out what we're looking for, what quality. We're going to be checking number two. And that will be the skill quality. Scott Wilson does not have the skill quality. Hurdle does have the skill quality. So that means San Jose wins that check. They take possession, change lines, advance the clock. So with no shot. We go to the fourth of five penalty minutes. And San Jose is going to go ahead and roll on the normal minutes chart on page two. They roll a seven. We have a lull. So that is three lull minutes. That'll carry us through the rest of the penalty. Minute four, 
minute five, and then back to 17. So we have three minutes left in this period. And it's going to be a face-off, penalty-free, lines at full strength. Um, when there is a lull, you can lose momentum. Pittsburgh does not have momentum anymore. Alrighty, let us go here and see what we got with the face-off. See if we can get a goal here in the final three minutes of the first period. Uh, face-off two. Highest FO player wins the face-off, and we know that's going to be Favelski with a 55. So San Jose is going to roll on the normal minutes chart. Find out what's going to go on with this play. They roll a nine, and it's another momentum check. So we're checking the hit quality for everybody on each team. Pavelski has hit. Kunitz, Lee Tang, and Lovejoy have hit. Pittsburgh has momentum once again. That does not change the advanced time. That is just establishing momentum. So we roll again, and we get a 12. Spectacular save. Choice offensive player launches a shot. We're going to say it's Pavelski. A goalie must make a spectacular save on the spectacular save chart. So Pavelski has, it doesn't matter, he's taken his shot. Uh, Flory for Pittsburgh has three stars for a spectacular save, but he has that white star, so that's four. So he has four stars to make this save with. And we are looking at number five in a spectacular save chart in the lower right on page three. Number five, four stars or better. Goalie makes an unbelievable stop, otherwise goal. He has three stars on a spectacular save, but he has a momentum star. Save by Flory. And um, on a spectacular save, if he makes it, puck is frozen, change lines, advance time, and conduct a faceoff. Now, had Pittsburgh not had momentum they would have won it with a spectacular save since they already had it they merely keep it so missed shot on play 18 we have two more plays in this period let's do a face off yummy okay here we go face off Look at the face-off chart on page 3, upper left corner. That would be a 6-6. Six, six. Visitor wins face-off. So San Jose's second line is going to roll on the normal minutes chart on page 2. And that'll be an 8, so we're doing an ice blast. A quality check, team versus team. The quality we are looking for, 4, hit. Chance for a momentum swing. Um, nobody for San Jose on their second line has hit. Hornquist has hit for Pittsburgh. That is one. Pittsburgh wins the tie, takes possession, change lines, advance the clock. Final play of the first period. Pittsburgh trying to make something happen here. Let's roll on the normal minutes page. Four, odd man rush. So let's find out which player is the odd man in the uh, in the attack zone. One, it's going to be 0-1, which is Eric Furr. Does he have a triangle to help create a scoring chance? No. Uh, there is no shot, change of possession, li change lines, and advance time, and it's the last play of the period. So no shot, and that is the end of the first period. Your score... Zero to zero, San Jose and Pittsburgh. And that is how you play the game. Um, pretty much covered all of it, truth be told. Um, that's how the play goes. If you end up in a power play position, a man advantage position, you would go to page four and five for power minutes. Um, if you pull uh, the goalie near the end of the game, you go to page six and seven for empty net minutes. Uh, page 8 and 9 for 3-on-3 three three minutes, uh, such as uh, um, overtime. And um, that's how you play the game. That's how the game flows. That's how the game goes. So I hope we made this clear as mud. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask them down in the comments. 
Guys, if you know how to play this and you catch a comment before I do, answer it and let them know how it's done. Uh, this is a community effort, and I really do appreciate you guys. We've got a great bunch of community members that help and support each other. Um, this game is a uh, hockey blast made by play.com. P L A A Y. Uh, the logo is in the upper right of your screen there. Go ahead and go to play.com and check out Keith Avalone's hockey blast, as well as many other good games that he's got guys. Thank you very much for watching and spending your time. And I hope, uh, I've been able to help clear some of the things up with this game i've always been one who learned well by watching and i wanted to provide that for you guys this is chris tabletop sports delaware and as always i'll keep on a rolling oh. i hit the wrong freaking button not made for kids <laughs>